Hi there, boys and girls. It is good to be back again. We started a story last week about the three trees. You remember the book cover? And you can see the three trees, but they're grown when they started, as we saw last week. They were just little trees. And they had dreams about what they were going to be. You remember what they were? The one tree wanted to become a, 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 a treasure chest. And I don't know whether you can see it in the stars there, but there's a treasure chest there, like a footlocker. And they wanted to hold real gems and valuable things and all that kind of stuff. And the other tree wanted to be a, 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 a boat, a big ship boat, going out on the ocean and carrying people to different countries and stuff like that. And then the third tree just wanted to stay up on top of the mountain and, and, uh, uh, and you know, and, and stay right there. Uh, pointing people to God up, up high in the sky. And so they look up from down below and they see this tree up there. And well, one day the uh, woodsman came up and there's three of them. And the trees had grown by that time. They'd become big trees. And they cut them down. Cut them down. All three of them cut down. And they hauled them away. Now, the one tree had this dream about being the treasure chest. And, and what happened was the woodsman that cut down tree number one, he went back and he began to form boards and, and he built some. It, it, it was a box. It, it was going to be a treasure chest. Wow. And that, that was what she dreamed about being and, and she was going to be that. But the thing about it is, is it doesn't look like a treasure chest. It has some lights on it. And what do you suppose that's going to be used for? It could feed animals. You could put hay in it and feed animals. Yeah. It was going to be a stall for animals to eat out of. Not a fancy treasure chest. And then the second boat, the second tree, wanted to be a big boat. And, and it got hauled to a shipyard. And it was going to, the man was going to make a boat out of her. But as he began to continue to make the boat, it wasn't going to be a big boat. It was just going to be a small boat. Like a fishing boat. Oh no! And that's exactly what she became. And she hauled smelly fish every day. Oh, she wanted to be a fancy boat with a big a kitchen in there where people would come into the dining room and it didn't happen. It was just a smelly fishing boat. Oh, that was so sad. And, and the third tree, well, that tree didn't understand what was happening either because she got cut up into planks. Yeah, you know, see the pile of planks here? Big four by four, maybe six by six planks. And like a railroad plank, you know, that holds the tracks on the railroad, except back in these days they didn't have railroads. You know, so I, it couldn't be a railroad plank. Um, I don't know. So we had one disappointed last week because she wanted to stay up on the hill, and two were excited about what they were going to be. But when they found out what they were going to be, they weren't excited anymore. They were sad. So now we've got three sad trees. Oh my goodness, what are we going to do? They had so much potential to be treasure chests and big ships on the ocean and trees that would point people to God. And it seems like all the potential they had is gone. Well, sometimes you can see that way, can it? We, we think that we're going to do something and it just doesn't work out for us to do it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, and we have to try again. Yeah, I, uh, George talked about things he wanted to do yesterday and I talked about things I wanted to do yesterday and they didn't happen. We had the potential for them to happen, but the reality didn't come. And so I have to try again another time and uh, see if I can get the things to work that time. All right? But we're going to find out next week what happens because we got one more week. But we're going to sing our song, I Am a Promise, I Am a Possibility. Now, I told you last week I was going to bring that song in and we were going to sing it. Because I used that at camp. Yeah, I had it at camp and I said, this is a good song for me to teach the kids. I am a promise, I am a possibility, I am a promise. With a capital P, I am a great big bundle of potentiality. I am learning to hear God's voice and I am trying to make the right choices. I'm a promise to be anything God wants me to be. Can you try that with me? 
I am a promise. I am a possibility. I am a promise. With a capital P, I am a great big bundle of potentiality. And I am learning to hear God's voice, and I am trying to make the right choices. I am a promise to be anything God wants me to be, to be, to be. How about that? And you're a promise and a possibility. Doesn't mean that you're going to be able to do everything you want. But it means God put in you potential and possibility so that you can do some important things in life. Uh, helping other people, uh, maybe learning some things that, that will make a difference in this world. Some of you might become doctors. I have a daughter who's a doctor. Uh, some of you uh, might become policemen. I had a son who was a policeman and helped people. Uh, not everybody wanted to see him and his light flashing on top of his car, but, but he did help people too. And sometimes he had to, to be pretty strict with some people. They were doing some wrong stuff and he had to stop them uh, from doing that. And that was, that was dangerous sometimes. Uh, we never told his mother some of the things that happened because she would have been sick with worry and, and that. I knew some of them, but I wasn't sick. With worry. I, I knew he could take care of it, and he did. And we have one who's a, a, an organist, and he's studying now to be a minister. So he has potential and possibilities. Now, he'll never be as good as I Well, yes, he can be as good as I am in terms of that. So, yeah. And the other one is an artist, and he teaches art in school to children so that they can learn to be artists. So there's a lot of potential and possibility. And you have some, too. And who knows what you may become. Anyway, we're going to pray, and next week we'll finish our story, all right? Father, thank you for the potential and the possibilities of each of our lives. And we pray your, your guidance with these young people as they study, as they go to school, as they grow up, and to become able to do good things. Not great in the eyes of the world, but good things in your eyes, and to help other people. In Jesus' name, amen. I right, see you next week, boys and girls.